Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, and it better be when you feel like it, because that's the only time we like to do things here. It's the only time we do do things. That's our philosophy here at BPAL Picks. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom BPAL Picks Edition. Um, wow, I got some exciting news. We put out... Uh, be, uh, anybody who put your name down or name down in the comment section or comments in the comment section, you can choose if you wish to have the end right rest of this month free at BPAL Picks, premium picks. Uh, you can get our premium picks at BPAL Picks for free. That's a pretty cool thing, I would say. And uh, also put your uh, parlays down there. We haven't had a winner on the parlays yet. But uh, if you happen to hit your parlay and, and you hit, uh, tell me in your parlay how much the odds are for your parlay and you collect points. And at the end of the month, you'll, you'll get a, a free month, completely free. Uh, if you comment now, you'll get this month. And if you win the parlay challenge, you'll get next month free. That's uh, $50 worth of free picks, my friends. Not too shabby, I would say. We had two people yesterday do that. Kent T and Chanel L. They uh, commented down there. Uh, they chose to take. We had more commenters than that. They haven't decided if they're going to do so or not. But we had two that did, and we were Perlo dancing for you. Here's a Perlo dance for you, my friend. And I'm going to send you a limited edition Pearls of Wisdom necklace signed by me. I have Melissa. Uh, Helen is, is, is uh, knitting it all up for you. It's going to have uh, its special colors, uh, mauve and uh, um, emerald. So, and I'm going to sign it. We're going to give it to Hernandez or Melissa. Probably Hernandez. I think Hernandez. And uh, you, you tell me in the comment section if you would like Hernandez or Melissa because this is a special delivery for you. We're going to get that off to you. So yesterday, yesterday was one of the finest days in the land. I could run the gauntlet and get go like seven for seven, something like that. Uh, we hit tennis picks. Uh, Kent said I should talk about tennis picks here more often. I do tennis picks. I kick butt at them. And if you don't care about tennis, it doesn't matter. Just pick my picks. You'll make money. You put some money on every pick I give you, I hit 70 to 80%. Now, if you put $100 per pick on every pick, I think I'm like 72 and 41 or something like that. That's 71. That's probably about 4 Hundred times forty five hundred bucks somewhere around there you'd be up right now. Tell me where you're gonna find a bank that's gonna provide you for that. So yeah, hit t tennis all day. I got. Uh, I might give you some picks on here, but this is really hockey related. I'm thinking about starting a new channel and we'll start talking about other sports. We hit a uh, uh, Cal um, Curtis also hit a basketball pick yesterday. Uh, you can go in my previous video. I have what Curtis picks were. He did pretty darn good for his NHL picks. Curtis Davis is one of the finest cappers I've ever seen in the land. And he's decided to come on with us. Uh, we had, uh, what did we have? We had um, the Nets and the Pistons over 222 or something like that. We got it. Nailed it. Um like I said, I had tennis picks for days. Uh, got a parlay. Have we hit the parlay? Yes. Vegas won. Uh, we'll, we'll go look at that right now, shall we? And then we'll do that. Well, there's only two games tomorrow, but we'll talk about those as well. Let's go look at what we hit yesterday. Because you bet all my things I gave you, right? Of course you did. Um, oh, they took it down now. I hate it when they do that. Now i got to go over here. Get all this fancy. Go over here. And look at, okay, we had, oh, it's still going. Okay, I didn't run the gauntlet because I had the under on this game. So I, I had 
I had the Golden Knights in reg. That should hit. Golden Knights in reg. And the under. So I miss the under. Um, I've got the under on this game here, under six. And this looks like it's probably going to be okay. There's nine minutes left. We'll see what happens. Uh, Jets and Flames. I have the Jets PL in a parlay. Looks like it's going pretty good so far. Panthers and Red Wings. I had, oh, look at that. Who just, LA just scored three to two. Oh boy, we don't, we can't have one more goal or it's a push. Okay. Uh, Panthers and Wings. I had the Red Wings PL for 171. Got it. Oilers versus Senators. I had the I had large pearls on the under, and medium pearls on the ML, uh, simply because I I just don't trust the Oilers this year. Uh, I could have went in reg, got half our money back on it on a on a smaller wager. Um, Lightning versus oh here's another one. Did I have the over or under? I think I had the under on this. Yeah, I did. So I didn't get this one either. But I did get the uh, lightning in regulation. So that was fine. Small, I only had, I had large pearls on lightning in regulation and a little bit on the under that barely even hurt us. Did not play anything on the Blackhawks and Stars. The reason why is the Stars are just too inconsistent this year. Um, I was leaning the under, but I didn't pull the trigger on it. So as you can see, we hit pretty spiffily. Also, I had, we got to have, uh, as long as we get Golden Knights ML, Jets PL, and we already hit Vegas ML, and Vegas ML, which is, well, look at that, Ducks just scored. Uh, that could be difficult. Uh, that might change. God, please don't have that happen. <laughs> My gosh. Uh then I hit the parlay as well. I think this is going to be a slam dunk. 4-3, it doesn't matter. I don't see the Ducks coming back here. So it was looking like a super awesome, incredible night. But as it stands now, uh, we might be looking at maybe 6-3, uh, and three, something like that. Uh Yes, because I had on my parlay, I asked for everybody to bet individually and on each one. So six and two or six and three. Up money. We're doing that all the time. Not to mention we hit the bat. Uh, we hit the basketball pick and I had I went three for four of my tennis pick. So we're up all day. We're up all day. Anyways, you want to find out for yourself. Comment in the comment section. And if you do, I'll send you a link. You sign up there. Uh, after you sign up, I'll reimburse you right away. And you can check it out for yourself for free. That'll be fun. So, tomorrow's games. Tomorrow's games. Uh, Bruins and Rangers. Let's go look at the odds, shall we? Let's go look at the odds. Um, Bruins and Rangers. This is... This is a really tough game to cap, to tell you the honest truth, except for the fact that I got to take Boston. Uh, just the way they're playing right now. Uh, again, 167. The Rangers are coming around and turning around, but they have some injuries on defense that are pushing them to play players that probably shouldn't be in the league right now. Now, they've been holding on all right. I'm going to go, I'll go to the Rangers here and we'll see. I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, they've been holding on okay considering, but as I mentioned before, the longer you play players that are not used to the league, um, Anthony Potato is, has, is a veteran. He's played in the NHL, you know, but he's certainly not, he, he's not a regular. He shouldn't be a regular in the NHL now. Um, he doesn't skate very well. And going up against guys like Pasternak, if he happens to get caught against him in uh, t um, tomorrow, that would not be good. And then you have Libor Hajik, who's 23 and hasn't played much in the league. 
finding his uh, just finding getting his feet wet in the league at this point. He's been playing a few games and might end up being tired. Keandre Miller has been playing fantastic. Doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. But that the top four is not bad. But once you get into the five six, you're in trouble. Also, they have said that. Alexander Gorgiev is going to be in net tomorrow, which may push Boston to put Halak in, give uh, Rask a break. Um, let's go. Look, we like to look over here too, and see what they are playing. Just are there going to be a back-to-back -back situation here? Uh, no, they're not going to be playing here. So um, it's possible that they get, they put Rask in or uh, Halak in. But I think they'll probably run with Rask just because you might as well get the win here. Uh, give yourself the sol solid win on the road. Um, on the road, maybe Halak in the next game because you're going to have a back-to-back -back again then with the Islanders and play Rask here. So I think Rask will be in. I'm going to lean with Rask in. I'm going to lean the under five and a half, and I'm going to take Boston in regulation. So what of our odds here? In reg won't be out yet for odds. So at 167, you're probably looking at about 190, which is for you who do not know the decimal system here, if you bet 100 bucks, you will, you make $90. So that doesn't mean that you lose ten dollars. It means that you would tip put the original hundred in your pocket plus ninety bucks. Your value would be ninety dollars. So I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, that will probably end up being a paid pick. I think. Um, as far as the under, maybe not. I'm a little concerned about the under on that. Mostly because Georgiev is in net and Boston could run it up a bit. And the Rangers certainly have the guns that can be able to score. So, um, yeah. Now, Toronto and Montreal. I got to give a pick for this. Um, look what, if you go to opening, and this is a capping, uh, this is odds, Bodog odds, um, or odd shark. Uh, and it shows you like all the uh, cap capping uh, play, op, the, all the cappers and what they're giving you for each game. And oddly enough, you're only getting 169 here from opening and 217 from Montreal at home. That is really odd odds. Um, now here, you're getting Toronto is getting is getting dog money. Tough game. If I got a pick on this, I'm going to take the dog money with Toronto. It's just might as well. At home, I think this is pretty much even. I think Toronto right now is the better team. And they're rested. And they're rolling. Anderson's playing exceptionally well. But, I mean, there's price. The question here is what do you take the over or under, which I'm sure is going to be six and a half. That is the tough one here because you got two great goaltenders. Um, I'm sure both teams are going to be told not, to, you know, are not going to be, uh, their coaches are not going to want to run and gun in this game. But the fact of the matter is you, you're just getting so, there's going to be so many shots. Um, Toronto, when it comes right down to it, are going to have to outscore Montreal. I'm going to go the over. I'm going to go the over. I don't like going over 6.5s. In fact, I just got burnt on one two days ago. But I think I'm going to go the over here. And I've been promising myself not to do so many overs on this because teams are going to be tired. But these two teams are fairly rested. And um, Toronto is just coming on, going from Toronto to Montreal um, and have a day off in between. And they're just rolling. I just love the way they, they're playing. Um, Montreal could burn them in the lower lines. In their lower lines. They have more scoring depth. But Toronto's top end talent. Are, it's just hitting on all cylinders right now. 
Um, they're both pretty healthy. Um, I think Toronto's going to have a difficult time with Montreal's big defensemen as a whole, but I think they're going to find a way. I, 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 uh, so it's hard for me to do an over with Price and Anderson, but there's so, are, there's so many great scores on this team that I, and I think you might see a, uh, some penalties here as well. So you put Toronto on the power play right now, and they're just freaking money. Montreal has been taking lots of penalties. That's why I'm going to lean to Toronto and the over on this game. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow live, tomorrow afternoon from, uh, or late afternoon from 3 to 5 Eastern. I'm on live talking about all the games from the night before. Tomorrow I think we'll be with Projo. Professor Joe Boric from SteelFlyers.com. That don't forget to check that website out. It's growing. It's we're building it. It's amazing. It's going to be. It's an all sports network, primarily hockey right now, but we're growing into football. We're going to be going baseball. We're going to have uh, podcasters for every team, video guys for every team, writers for every team. It's going to be an absolutely incredible site check it out um but joe is from there he's also got sports fanatic news uh you can go sub to that he does some pretty cool content on there for all different sports uh so that's my full 42 boys and girls that's all i have to get enjoy the hockey have a great day and lots of love to y'all